channel today i will be reviewing these next lipstick i have three shades of these i will be reviewing and swatching one by one uh, all these three shades i have the shades are already written in the uh, title so you must be knowing what shade i am going to swatch and review uh, though i will still uh, tell you once it's exotic embellishment and cabaret show So uh, the right now what I'm wearing is exotic and this is how it's on the lips and this is how it's on the uh, hand swatch. It's really good nude pink with brown tone into it kind of color. As you can see it, this will go really good with the uh, fair to medium skin tone. I will not suggest this for a dusky skin tone because it, it can wash you out. Uh, let's come back to this uh, embellishment. Yes. This is in shade 02. Again, this is embellishment. This is uh, cabaret, uh, cabaret show. This is more towards uh, nude brown kind of color and uh, so those were the swatches. This one is cabaret show, this one is embellishment and the first one is exotic. So these were the swatches. Now we will talk about these color and in particular about these lipsticks. The first I will, I will like to talk about its texture. I am not a big fan of this texture. It's too thick to work with. Means even if if you're taking out the wand, uh, this is how the wand looks. The, though the wand is flexible, and uh, this is cabaret show, uh, though the wand is flexible, even if you take out the wand, see, it's flexible, you can work with it. Can you see the consistency? It's so thick. It's so hard to work with means there is lot of product at a particular place on your lips while applying. It's not like uh, those Lakme lipstick that even if it's thick, it's going to be easy to work with. No, it's not like that. I will show you the Lakme lipstick consistency. See, Lakme lipstick consistency. It's easy to work with with Lakme rather than with NYX and it's not even, it's not at all like even Shambor. Shambor is too liquidy. Uh, Lakme is towards moussey kind. This is more than moussier. It's more thick. It's like we have they have crushed the lip crayon into these bottles and they, they are selling on the name of liquid lipsticks. These were supposed to be in the crayon form or something like that. If you have one, you know what I'm talking about. And if you're going to get one, I will suggest you to go for a better other brand rather than going with this particular brand. Uh, this is my honest review. I'm not promoting or I'm not uh, I'm not going against this particular brand or something like that. This is my honest review. This is what I feel about this product. So let's talk about the wear time. The wear time is really good. It stays. It stays like forever. Uh, it do justice with its price, what it sells for. It sells for around 7.99 or 800 rupees. I bought it in offer from Nika. I will link, I will put down the link in the description box. So it stays on your lips. I had uh, dinner with it. I was wearing uh, this one few days back and I even had dinner and still it was there. Not a tint, the whole lipstick was there. It did not fade it. It did not fade out. It was completely there. It is transfer proof, but I think a tiny bit do get transfer. I will show you. Right now, nothing came on my lips, but uh, nothing came on my hand. Nothing is here too, but tiny bit get transfer when you apply it, but it dry down to mat really fast and it's really comfortable on your lips. It's not at all dry, but it feels tacky. Like, can you feel that? Can you see that? The way the lips are kind of sticking to each other. I don't like that consistency. I even 
felt the same with the Huda Beauty, though Huda Beauty was more on the liquid liquid side rather than more on being on the moussey side. But still, even Huda Beauty was tacky and this is tacky. So being a 60, 50, 16, 50 rupees Huda Beauty can tacky, then this is like justice. It's okay. If this does not bother you and the thick consistency does not bother you, then yes, you can go with it. My favorite color is uh, exotic. And then cabinet show and my least favorite out of these three what I have is embellishment. It's a purple nude. It's too much in trend. So if you're looking for something which is trendy and if you are going for a party or kind of thing, then yes, you can carry it around, carry it. But again, it's a dull purple. There are much better purple in the market uh, that you can take. For example, Inglot shade 15. That is really awesome purple. Or you can even take uh, Chambord shade 404. That is also awesome purple. Those are bright purples. Those look good. Those are the one that those are trendy because this have the purple embellishment, have the purple undertone. It's not true purple. It's very dull and dark purple. So I feel it's a kind of disappointment for me. Overall, I am not a big fan of these and uh, I have to just finish them because I bought them. I don't like throwing away my makeup products. So... I have to finish them. I bought these in offer from Nykaa for around 600 rupees, I guess. So you keep looking for the offers on Nykaa, you will get it. This video is not associated with any product or any channel or any site, not even with Nykaa. It's just my personal opinion and from where I bought is I'm telling you, it's not like if I'm telling you that you're supposed to buy it exactly from the same site, obviously you know that there is nothing for me to tell you in this but yes before i get bombarded with all the comment that why you are telling this again and again and why you're promoting this no i'm not promoting anything you're free to buy actually the only reason i'm telling you this is because they sell the genuine product amazon amazon do sell the genuine product the problem with amazon is there is multiple sellers so you don't know which seller is selling you the original and the fake product because even this nyx do come with in a fake uh, i've seen is a fake uh, version of this also so there is an easy way to differentiate that there won't be any name written here in original version the name is written here but in fake version there won't be any name here and second is the barcode obviously the fake one won't be having barcode and uh, Obviously, the color difference will be there. As I have already swatched the fake Huda Beauty with the original Huda Beauty, you have seen the color difference. So, you will know the color difference will be there if you have the original one. You will know it. So, I know that these are not available in local market, at least in my area where I live. But it, if it's available in your area, then that's lucky you. But so, I completely trust Nika for that. So, I bought these from Nika. That's why I'm telling you guys. And that's all I have to say about these beauties and I hope to see you in my next video. These are the swatches and until next time, stay blessed, stay happy.